One morning, my friend, Billy Blackbird, who lives in the forest, he woke up in his nest and he peeped over the side just to see what the weather was like. And he thought he saw a red spot moving in the undergrowth. Ooh. He rubbed his eyes. He said, I've got spots before my eyes. Must be something I've eaten. Ooh, I'll have to go and see Dr. Owl for some medicine. And then he peeped again. And then he realized that it was not a spot. It was Freddy Fieldmouse with a red hat on. So Billy flew down and he said, Hello, Freddy Fieldmouse. I do like your hat. Oh, yes, he said. It's a present from my cousin, Hector Housemouse. And I'm going to see him to say thank you for this present. Oh, so where does he live, said Billy. Oh, he lives in the old mill, he said Freddy. My word, said Billy, that's a long way to go. And you're just a little mouse. Shall I go with you and show you the way? Certainly not, said Freddy. I'm not a baby mouse, you know. I can find my way all right. I shall follow my nose. All right, said Billy. If you're sure, off you go. So Freddy Fieldmouse went scuttling away into the undergrowth and Billy stayed in his nest. But he wasn't very happy. Oh, he such a big forest and such a little mouse. But there Freddy Fieldmouse seemed to feel that he could manage all right and so who was Billy to interfere? But as the day wore on, Billy got more and more anxious. The weather seemed to get worse. The sky was darker. And then it started to rain. I do think I'd better go and look for Freddy, he said. He might be lost somewhere. So Billy went flying to and fro, through the forest, looking here, looking there, looking everywhere, to try to find a little red hat, a red spot somewhere, but no, he couldn't find anything. So he flew on to the old mill, and he found the little door where Hector Housemouse, the cousin, lived, and Billy, he knocked on the door, and out came Hector. Hello, he said, what can I do for you? Well, said Billy, I'm rather worried. Have you seen your cousin, Freddy? Oh, no, no, I haven't seen him for oh, a long time. Oh, dear, said Billy Blackbird. Well, I saw him this morning. And he was setting out to come through the forest to visit you, to thank you for your Christmas present. And he hasn't arrived. Oh, he's lost in the forest somewhere. I must go and look for him. So Billy went off again, searching here, searching there, looking everywhere to see if he could find a little red hat <laughs> down in the undergrowth. He couldn't find Freddy anywhere. But it was getting dark by now. There was nothing more that poor Billy could do. So he went back to his nest, but didn't sleep very well. Next morning, as soon as it was dawn, Billy was up and away, searching again to try to find Freddy the field mouse lost in the forest. He searched here and he searched there, and then, at last, way down below, he spotted a red spot. And as he flew down, 
There was Freddy Fieldmouse, sitting slumped against a tree. I'm lost, he said. I'm cold. And I'm hungry. Never mind, said Billy. I'm here now, and between us we'll sort this out. Now you follow me, said Billy. I'll fly up to the top of the tree where I shall get a good view of the mill in the distance. And then I'll shout instructions down to you which way to go. So that's what they did. Billy flew up to the top of the trees where he had a good view away in the distance. And he would call down instructions. Straight ahead, he would say. Now a little to the left. Uh, a right, turn right. Keep on going. A little bit to the left. And so between them, with Billy's instructions from up above, he was able to direct Freddy safely to the old mill. And of course Hector, his cousin, was delighted to see him took him in and warmed him up and fed him. And Billy, before he left, said to Freddy, Shall I come back tomorrow and show you the way back home? Yes, please, he said. I don't think my nose is as good as I thought it was. <laughs> and so that's what happened. Next day, Billy flew to the old mill and did exactly the same as the day before. He was be up high where he had a good view and he would call down instructions so that Freddy could find the way. And between them Freddy got safely back home. I'm sure Freddy was very glad that he had some help from above I think we all need a bit of help from above sometimes, you know, if we're not too proud to ask. Not so good to follow our nose. It's better to ask God to give us a bit of help and guidance, especially as we step into a, another year, year. So travel on safely.